All right, we are going to go shopping and purchase some items, sell them, and make a profit. I'm going to show you how to figure out what to sell your items for and how to figure out how much profit you make on those items. So first off, we're going to pretend like we are outfitting a school store. And so we are going to buy some school supplies for the school store to sell. The first school supply we're looking at is these mechanical pencils. As you can see, the price and the quantity, meaning the number, is right down here. So the price is $10.50. And the number is 50 pencils. Okay, so to find the unit price, it's the same exact thing as unit rate. All I'm going to do is take my $10.50, my dollar amount, and divide it by my quantity, 50, to find out that each one costs 21 cents. Okay, so if they're going to cost me 21 cents, I'm going to sell them for more than 21 cents so that I can make a profit. But it's kind of tough to decide how much to mark up your items. So you need to look at the items that you're going to sell and think to yourself, what would I buy that for? And most of you would not buy it for more than like 50 cents. So let's go ahead and sell it for 50 cents. So you got to be realistic. You can't sell, say, I'm going to sell this one pencil for $3. Yes, you'd make a ton of profit if they sold, but the chance of selling them is not good. So you want to make sure that it, it's priced right so that you sell lots of them. So what would my profit be? Well, if one is selling at 50 cents, I'm just going to subtract my 50 cents from the cost that it is. So the price I'm getting from the price that I'm paying, and I get a 29 cent profit on each one. If I wanted to know what would be my total profit if I sold all of them, I just take my 29 cents and multiply it by the 50 pencils that I made that profit on, and it looks like a profit of about $14.50. All right, here we've got three different items. This is kind of like what you're going to be doing on your next project and on your homework during class tomorrow. So we've got pencil sharpeners, pencil cases, and funny face pencil top erasers. The um, quantity is going to be, again, the number. So a dozen means 12. The price for these pencil sharpeners is $8. The unit price is going to be like the unit rate. I'm going to take 8 divided by 12, which gives me 66.6 .6 repeating cents. I'm going to round that to the nearest cent and call it 67 cents. In this store, what could I sell those for? I think I could probably get away with selling them for a dollar. Okay, my profit is not super big, but 33 cents each. How did I get that? I took my store price minus my unit price, and that gave me my profit. Pencil cases are a dozen again, so that's 12. And I get them for $9.50. see if I can fit that in that little box. Um, when I divide $9.50 divided by 12, it costs about $0.79 cents each. I got .7916 repeating, so we just need to round to the nearest penny. Then I'm going to take and decide how much could I sell these for. Well, this is kind of a big thing, so I think these are a pretty good deal at getting them for $0.79. Cents. I think I could sell these for $2. So I'm going to put $2 on them and make a pretty big profit at $1.21 each. And then lastly, the erasers. Um, there are 144 in a pack. That's at $5.50 for the package. When I divide that, I get 0 .03819. That's about $0.04. Cents. Pretty good price. Now I thought $0.10 cents would probably be the ideal price to sell these at. But thinking, most people... If they really want it, they'd pay a quarter for it anyway, so I'm going to charge them 25 cents. Maybe I could do some sort of deal later on and say, you know, five for a dollar so they get a little better price. But right now that's a profit of 21 cents each. Okay. That's part of what we're going to be figuring out. And then lastly, I want to know... How much profit would I make if I only sold half of my items? So if you remember, we had 
12 sharpeners, 12 pencil cases, and 144 um, eraser tops. So I'm going to say, what if I only sold six pencil cases at a dollar each? Or sorry, sharpeners at a dollar each. That means I'm bringing in six dollars. And what if I sold half of these? That's six pencil cases at two dollars each. I'm bringing in twelve dollars. This is not my profit. It's the amount of money that people are paying me. Remember, I had some costs involved. And 144, half of that is 72, and I'm charging them a quarter each to give me a total of $18 that I'm bringing in from those. So totally when I add up all of my money that I'm bringing in, so this is all the money that's coming in, I'm going to get a total of $36. That's not my profit. Remember, I need to figure out how much money did I have to put out first. Because even though I sold half my items, I still bought all of them. So I'm going to subtract out the prices of each thing. So my money out would be the cost that I spent on sharpeners, which was $8. The cost I spent on pencil cases, $9.50. And the cost that I spent on erasers, just $5.50. For a grand total of $23. So I'm going to take my total money in, subtract my total money out, and I come to a profit of a mere just $13. Not a very big profit, but at least a profit, and I only sold half, so I still have the other half to still sell. All right, good luck on your quiz, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.